guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm here at Morgan Import Motor Cars in Tampa, Florida, and we have that one status symbol of a wagon that many people want to get behind the wheel of. This is it. This is a 2021 Mercedes AMG G63. But before we get into the ultimate of G wagons, let's talk about what's going on here. The Mercedes Benz G wagon. Many people today, uh, associated with the Kardashians and Kanye West, but you know what? It didn't start off life in that situation. In the 1970s, it was used as a military vehicle. Now, what's fascinating is that the original G-Wagon stuck around for so many decades, even when the Kardashians made it that ultimate status symbol, the original body style and technology followed its way through most of its age. Now, Fast forward to this new generation that came about in 2019, still the familiar shape, but now getting a lot more 21st century technology. And of course, when you go G63, you're getting that twin turbo V8 power. But what I wanna find out is, is this the king of the luxury SUVs? There's a lot of American brands, Cadillac with the Escalade, Lincoln with the Navigator, and of course now Jeep with the Grand Wagoneer, they say that they have the king and ultimate of luxury SUVs. Are they wrong? Or is this G-Wagon just the recipe for that perfect success? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this pure white G-Wagon and find out. Right off the bat, very, very unique styling. You're not gonna confuse this with any other SUV. You'll notice on this 2021, with it being in that new generation, we do have those awesome flared fenders, all color matched. I love the way it comes up from behind the brush guard here, into the bumper, into the fender, and all the way around. For it to be a G-Wagon, you gotta have those top-mounted turn singles. LED gives it that unique style that, like I said, you're not gonna confuse it with anything else. And then I think one of the smartest things they could have done is they kept with the round headlight housing setup. But inside, you're gonna get a multi-beam LED headlight, a little bit of chrome with that daytime running lamp, which is all LED. You do have the required washers. That's what these little guys are here for, to spray water as you get mud and dirt going through the mall parking lot in your G-Wagon. Dropping it down, what do we got? We got the F word. No, not that F word, you sicko. We're talking about functionality, functional corner vents, flat black. Look at how large the opening is in the center and top and bottom. And then you're gonna have this satin metallic finish in this pure silver on this brush guard that really is gonna make you get that perfect spot right up front at the mall or the shopping center. Coming across that main grill or going down Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills. That massive grill, so much connection to the past. You got that badging, that Mercedes badge logo, the shining star with a forward facing camera, so important for an off-road SUV. We have the vertical slots, which have a little bit of shiny chrome style finish. And then of course we got the AMG badge. This is not a pretender. This is the ultimate full AMG, AMG performance. In the center, more flat black with that functionality. And then of course, underneath you do have, you hear that? Metal skid plates all the way back to protect those inner bits as you're going off-road. Plenty of ground clearance, well over 10 inches of ground clearance will allow you to go well over two feet of water in this G-Wagon. Hopping on up, you got that classic style hood. Really love the way it fits nicely with the front grill area. You got the Mercedes-Benz logo there, that Mercedes star, nice little bulge. You know, we got V8 power, you gotta have some bulge. And guess what? Maybe Kanye West doesn't have it, but this G-Wagon definitely has that nice muscular bulge. Coming around the bend, what do we got? Wheel and tire setup. Now, when you go AMG, you're getting all the goodies. Check out these Y-spoked forged wheels Machine aluminum with that metallic gray finish. Calipers the size of LeBron James 
shoes that he plays basketball in. Bright red with the AMG logo. Six piston are gonna clamp down on those rotors that are over 15 inches in diameter. Cross-drilled, fully ventilated, and they're wrapped with these awesome Michelin tires. Gonna give you some nice stick, also gonna give you some nice durability. 285 on the width, 45 series sidewall. This is a 21 inch wheel. And then you'll notice you can see the suspension bits, the upper control arm, and all the other mounting points for the shock absorbers. Plus, you're also gonna see on the side over here, that's the actual exhaust coming off the engine and flowing down the side of the vehicle. You don't see that on any of those other luxury SUVs. Then we talk about badging. Classic AMG V8 bi-turbo. If you're wondering what's the difference between a bi-turbo and a twin-turbo, twin-turbo, the turbos are the same exact size. Bi-turbo, one is large, one is a little smaller, but you're still getting plenty of power. Color matched on the mirror caps, LED turn singles. I do like the uh, splashing of flat black. It gives it that classic G-Wagon. Of course, you don't have the door handles that you just pull on, you gotta push and then open, and you get that familiar clunk. Push, open, clunk. Love that nice solid feel. It feels like a vault, like an old Wells Fargo vault from 1909. You got your fixed running boards that flow perfectly into those flared fenders, and then check out our side exit exhaust. Nice slash cut with the AMG branding on there. That's gonna give you that V8 rumble, and you got two on each side. That gives it that unique personality. Look under your Escalade, you don't have that. And if you say, well, Joe, I got a Lincoln Navigator with a twin turbo engine, it's not a V8, it's a V6. But working our way towards the rear, those great style wheels with the massive calipers even on the rear, and then as we come around the back, you got that familiar boxy shape. It's one of those styles that people just love it. Either you love it or you hate it. Let me know what you think about that boxy shape. And then, of course, when we get to the back, you got the G63 badge. They updated all the lighting, full LED, nice satin silver finishes. And then, of course, you're going to have that required to really give it the full G-Wagon feel and the Kardashian-ness to it. You got to have that spare that's mounted on the exterior with the special carrier, that Mercedes-Benz logo, and then AMG. That means you're getting all that performance that's underneath the hood with that 4x4 system to get the power to the ground. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop that hood and check out that bi-turbo V8 I told you about. All right, guys, we got that massive hood open. You do have hydraulic hood struts underneath the hood, sexy engine cover with the AMG badge. You can actually see the two turbos snuggled underneath the cover. What are we looking at? You're looking at a handcrafted. This is the gentleman that actually handcrafted this four liter V8 by turbo engine. 577 horsepower, 629 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to a nine-speed automatic, zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds. Quarter mile is gonna go by at 12.5 seconds at 110 miles an hour. And when you think about how much this weighs, it is astonishing. It weighs 5,783 pounds, has a top speed of 149 miles an hour. MPGs, if you really care, you are looking at the wrong vehicle. You need to be looking at a RAV4 Prime or something like that. 13 in the city, 15 on the highway, and you could tow up to 7,700 pounds with this beast. Like I said, seeing that engine cover, seeing that nameplate, knowing that this was handcrafted. And when I say put together by one person, we're talking about a person that actually has a master's degree and has to go through a two-year apprenticeship to be allowed to hand assemble this engine. But why don't we go ahead, let's hear the mastery of that person's work. Let's fire up this AMG G63 and hear that roar. All right, guys, we're inside this 2021 Mercedes AMG G63. 
like I said, that ultimate status symbol, the G-Wagon. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, this is one bad mamma jamma. I've been looking at those American brand luxury SUVs. I've been trying to push to get one of these G-Wagons. How much is it? So original MSRP, the way that this one is optioned, is right around $171,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Love the leather touches, the nice dark black leather, that bright red just really pops with the diamond stitching. And then you'll notice the usual seat setup controls that are easy to get to on your Mercedes-Benz product. Full electric assist with massage seat settings, three memory seat uh, savings as well. Plus they're heated and ventilated and you have the optional sound system with that very tasteful speaker grill cover. I like the way they integrated the door handle and that's real dark stained wood in the midsection. Door pocket is a little bit of a mixed bag. So you'll be able to get a couple toaster strudels in there, but that's about it. And a nice huge bottle of chocolate milk to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, you got a super size oh crap handle for your passenger with the leather and the wood finish, very classy. I like the way they did the silver finishes as well, the leather stitching, and then guess what? You have two massive 12 inch infotainment system screens. Now, before I get into the screen, one thing you should uh, be familiar with is that you're gonna get your familiar uh, ambient lighting. It lights up underneath the screens, it lights up underneath the dash, the door panels, and you could change it to any color you want, just like fruit stripe gum. So if you love fruit stripe gum, no matter what color piece you're chewing, you can go with that. And the great news is the color lasts a long uh, time compared to the flavor of the gum. Now, here is the zonk and the bad news. No touch screen. This does not have the newer Mercedes-Benz interface. There's no My Mercedes voice commands you could do. Everything with the infotainment has to be done through the direct drive control knob or the trackpad that they have right here on the center console. But the good news is you do have navigation, you do have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Let me show you some of the features here. So once you hit home on that center stack there, you then can use the direct drive control knob to go through the different settings. Let me take you into vehicle because this is really cool how they have it. You could go into seats, adjust the driver's seat, you could get in those massage settings, all of the adjustments, including lumbar, can be done right there through this system. You hit the back button. Let me take you down to dynamic select. You hit that. You could go into engine data, have those nice readouts like you're playing Gran Turismo. Go into vehicle data. Look at how the graphics, the colors, it's showing you the direction, the incline, braking, how the power is being sent to all four wheels. Lots of cool technology there, but I am shocked that it does not have a touch screen. Let me know how you feel about that. We could go into dynamic data, allowing us to see really just about anything. Look, even a boost gauge. Really, really cool. Would a G meter. We could go into our different modes. We have different drive modes here, and that allows you to go into individual, where you could have it set up to your preferences. Comfort, sport, sport plus, and then of course, you got that wonderful easy way to get back to just about any setting that you want. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let me show you reverse. Throw it into reverse. The resolution is just ridiculous. Super clear with the trajectory. We got the 360 cam, put it back in the park, and we're right back where we started, go back to home, and then I can bring up navigation. Very simple, you just can't touch the screen. You can, it just doesn't do anything. The wood finish is great. I love the aeronautical style uh, air vents with the AC. You have your switch gear to electrically uh, lock your front diff, your rear diff, and your center diff with your different controls here, your AC controls. And then of course, you're gonna have that required luxury analog clock, more wood, you can rub your wood. Look at the stitching. This is stuff that on your Escalade, you're not gonna find. Open up this bad boy two cup holders. What else we got in there? You got the ability to adjust the size of the openings. Plus, 
Of course, you got a 12 volt and you got that sexy AMG key fob with the Mercedes-Benz logo there. And then, like we pointed out briefly earlier, and I'm gonna close that up, you have your little mouse trackpad, you got your direct drive control knob, we can open up the exhaust, you got your dynamic mode buttons, manual shift, adjust the adaptive dampers, everything is done right here. Which once you figure it out, it's actually very simple. More wood, and then that red leather, bombs away, look at that. Felt lining with USBs in there, you could probably put, I would say, four rocks that you found on your trip to Germany when you were in high school and you were dating that foreign exchange student and she took you to Germany and you were at that one castle where you kissed her for the first time and there happened to be those three large roundish rocks that were just laying there and you took them with you so you could remember that kissing moment, put those rocks in there. You won't have to bust your rocks because you got felt lining. Close them up, seats, the leather, the stitching, so exquisite, the AMG badge, just to remind you, you went big. The nice bolstering, and of course, like we pointed out, electric assist for the passenger and the driver. The microfiber suede headliner is like petting a pussycat. The one thing that's weird, manual open sunroof. So to me, that's a bit of a zonk on a vehicle that costs $171,000. But why don't you get your butt over here I want to show you behind this race car-esque steering wheel in our G-Wagon. All right, guys, behind the business end, the wheel of this beast. You got three memory seat settings on the driver's side. Check out that beautiful aluminum sill plate with the AMG logo that lights up LED lighting at night. And then the foot box, not very large, but you do have an aluminum brake pedal and throttle, but no aluminum dead pedal. That, to me, is like a missed opportunity. Another great thing about this G-Wagon is that you could be one of those tall basketball players and still got plenty of room in here. Steering wheel, like it's taken right from Lewis Hamilton's Formula One car. Flat bottom, all the adjustments, tasteful horn button, metal. Metal paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down that nine-speed automatic. It is electric adjusting, tilting, and telescoping steering wheel. And then you're gonna have that massive 12-inch display Beautiful tack in the center, and you could go through your different modes, comfort, sport, sport plus, and then obviously bring it to individual or slippery when wet mode. That's for when you're rocking out the Bon Jovi, living on a prayer, but we're going to keep it sport plus here on Rady's Rides. Like I was saying, lots of space. That VA rumble, let's get in the back seat and see if your passengers are gonna enjoy riding with you in this G-Wagon. All right, guys, backseat time, and you know what? You're gonna have plenty of headroom sitting back here, that's for sure, but if you're comparing this to a Navigator or an Escalade, obviously with that three-row supremacy, you're getting more room, but this does have that status symbol quality that I don't even think the Navigator top trim brings to the table. Now, in the frame, you do have those AC vents, to bring a little extra cool air to you. I do like the large pockets. You could easily put, I would say, four Bavarian cream donuts in there, and then you got your two AC vents looking sexy, just like the ones up front. Your temperature and blower fan switches. Little tiny uh, now and later tray with a power source, a USB and a 12 volt. And what's great about now and laters is guess what? You can have them now, or you can have them later. As you can see, six feet tall, I'm not even close to the headliner. I could grow quite a bit. Armrest, nice height. Not the softest, but it's sexy leather. I wanna thank the cows that sacrificed their life for specifically this armrest. But the seats look great. Let's go ahead, let's see what the heck we could haul in this AMG G63. All right, guys, if you thought everything was sunshine and rainbows with this G-Wagon, it does have a few more oddities that create some issues. One of them being the rear door. When you open up the rear door, the zonk is, is that if you're parallel parked, you're not gonna be able to open the rear door unless that other parking spot is a mile away. But the great news is, look at the amount of space and look at the finishes. Nice leather material, diamond stitching, and then look at all that space. With the rear seat up, you're looking at about 37 
cubic feet of space, fold the rear seat down, you have almost 70 cubic feet of space. Of course, we have the Twinkie cargo net on the driver's side. There is a power source right by the lighting up top, beautiful carpet, the subwoofer, and then obviously the ability to put nice, tall objects in there. And if you need to do the Costco run, you could do it. But I guess that would be the other issue. If we're comparing this to vehicles like the Escalade, like the Navigator, it's a little tight on the space compared to those larger SUVs. But why don't we go ahead, let's put the rubber to the road and go on throttle in this AMG G63. All right, guys, we're inside this 2021 G-Wagon. We left Morgan Import Motor Cars. I got it in Sport Plus mode. On throttle, here we go, yeah! <laughs> rumble that you get from that bi turbo v8 is ridiculous and the wonderful thing is it's not fake sound it's not pumped in sound it is truly the heart of this beast visibility is actually pretty freaking phenomenal the back obviously the spare is a little in the way but still you're getting just this really tall roof and tall side glass that allows you to see very easily out the different windows and whatnot. Brakes feel great. And then all the fit and finishes that you have. It's a superb spot on the money. You know, yeah, you're good. Like I said, you go Lincoln Navigator or Escalade, you're gonna get more room, especially with the three rows. And some of the things in here are quirky, uh, like the door handles, for example, they're plastic and you gotta push the little uh, lock button to, to open them up. But uh, when it comes to just that persona and what the G-Wagon stands for, plus going G63, having the V8 performance with the bi-turbo setup, I mean, it's really, really just unbelievable. All right, guys, I'm gonna come to a dead stop here and we're gonna do on throttle. On throttle, here we go, yeah! <laughs> that when you go into the different modes it adjusts everything like the steering sensation and the weight the throttle sensitivity you got those massive metal paddles behind the steering wheel to go up and down the nine speed automatic transmission seats are comfy plus you got massage settings heated and ventilated which is wonderful and then as you can see driving down the road it's smooth but there is a bit of wind noise and road noise. Obviously, not the most aerodynamic shape, so you're gonna have a little bit more wind noise, but uh, the noise that I love is the noise that comes out of that side exhaust. Let me go into manual shift mode. Now I can go up and down with the paddles, the pops, the bangs. Really, really superb. Let's see here. Drop it down. Right, here we go, look at that. Golly. It's like it just pins you to the back of the seat in such a good way. Fast shifts too. I'm gonna do a second or third. On throw, here we go. Nice. I love the way that the dash is its own shift light. It builds up red from the outsides, left and right, and then converges with the big bright red to let you know to shift. That's the type of technology that's been brought from the racetrack into this G-Wagon. I mean, unfreaking believable this thing. I could do that all day long. You ready? Right, here we go. And then you got those massive calipers with those super-sized UFO-sized rotors that just shed speed like a German Shepherd sheds hair that quickly. Just crazy. And then getting to everything, let me know how you feel about 
the non touch screen that to me is a surpriser I could compare I could care less about the my Mercedes voice commands uh, it's kind of annoying to be honest with you but not having a touch screen especially when it's so close really is a bit of a surprise and a, and a bummer but uh, other than that I mean this thing watch this first gear on oh, right, here we go on the brakes nice downshifts <sighs> what an amazing amazing machine this thing is and to know that you have that much power and torque and then you got everything wrapped in leather I mean it's really really just exquisite unbelievable but we're gonna go ahead and get back to Morgan import motor cars and wrap this one up I hope it gave you a nice overall feel of what this AMG G63 is bringing to the table we're gonna wrap it up I'll see you in a split second all right guys it's been one heck of a German on throttle kind of day with this AMG G63 I definitely want to thank LD John and the rest of the crew here at Morgan Import Motor Cars for allowing Radies Rides access to this beast of an SUV. Let me know what you think. Is this the king of luxury SUVs, especially when it comes to performance? Put your answer down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you in the channel, click that link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to the muscle behind the lens, the queen that wears the crown, Lori working that camera like a champ. Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for being the best in the biz. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.